Hi, I'm Eric Curlin from 3D Space, the Center for Stereoscopic Photography, Art, Cinema, and Education. When we launched this Kickstarter campaign to save September Storm, we hoped that there would be enough support from 3D movie fans to reach our $25,000 goal in one month. And thanks to your pledges, we actually reached our goal with two weeks left to go in the campaign. This gives us the opportunity to add a stretch goal, that is, a milestone above our original goal, which will allow us to restore another historic 3D motion picture as part of this project. I'm thrilled to announce that over the past few days, John Zelenka, president of the New York Stereoscopic Association, has helped us make arrangements with Oscar-winning filmmaker Murray Lerner to restore his groundbreaking 3D film, Sea Dream. The 23-minute long Sea Dream was produced in 1978 from marine land of Florida and was filmed in the single strip space vision process and projected at a widescreen aspect ratio of 2.4 to 1. In order to accommodate the ARRI camera with a mounted space vision lens, Lerner had a special custom waterproof housing built for the production by underwater camera expert Jordan Klein. 3D historian Ray Zone wrote, with Sea Dream, Lerner pushed the space vision process to its limit in attempting to have all of the underwater imagery float off the screen. Doing this within the limitations of the space vision process, Lerner was foreshadowing the immersive stereoscopic cinema of IMAX 3D. Sea Dream was the first 3D project that I worked on. It was made to show at Marineland of Florida on a continual basis. It was the first such showing that I know about where there was a constant, constant, constant year-round use of that film as an attraction. You don't see that anymore, but at that time that was like an event that people went to. All, and it was all over the world, in Germany, in Taiwan, in Holland. It was very successful and uh, very unique for its time. I brought to it my feelings about documentary films, which was having interaction with the medium and the audience, which most 3D people didn't, didn't do. If you'd like to see the rest of the NYSA's interview with Murray Lerner, you can visit their website, 3dnsa.org. The Sea Dream film elements are in good condition, and with your support, we will be able to include this remarkable motion picture as a bonus feature on your September Storm Blu-ray. Of course, we'll need to set our stretch goal to pay for the additional 4K scanning, alignment, and color correction. So here's the deal. We've run the numbers, and if you can push this campaign over the $30,000 mark, the 3D Film Archive will be able to do this restoration and include Murray Lerner's Sea Dream on the September Storm Blu-ray.